In this demo, I'm going to show you how STA from Thales enables smart single sign-on between SaaS applications. What you see here is the admin portal of STA. By the way, STA stands for SafeNet Trusted Access. So I'm now at the application page where we can configure our different SaaS applications. A SaaS application is typically a web service such as Office 365, G Suite, Salesforce, etc. Maybe a note, a requirement for single sign-on is a support for SAML or OpenID Connect as the authentication protocol. But all modern SaaS applications support this. And you can even use SAML for your own web apps. Adding a web application is really easy. Let's show how you add, for example, Office 365. So you just have to click here on the uh, plus sign, add application. And you see here a whole bunch of applications ready with pre-configured specific app settings. Okay. So in case of Office 365, we just have to search for it and click on the correct app. We give it a name. We'll then go through a wizard and there's also a nice doc file available listing all the steps needed on STA but also on uh, Office 365. Um, so just follow them and Office 365 is ready in less than, in less than 15 minutes. Now, for the purpose of this demo, I've already configured, configured two applications, Salesforce and AWS. So let's delete um, Office 365 for now. We also have an integration running with Active Directory. So if we move to the users pane, we see that we have two users, John and Pete. Now John is part of the engineering department and Pete is part of marketing. Now if we go back to the applications, we see that Salesforce, it's already configured and it's assigned to engineering. Okay, and AWS is assigned to all users, so to everybody. That means that Pete, who is part of marketing, will not be able to access and even see the application Salesforce, as he is not part of engineering. And John, who is part of engineering, will be able to see both Salesforce and AWS. Now, let's move to the policies. Policies is where we configure how a user is logging in. For example, does a user need to supply a password? Does he need to do MFA, multi-factor? And when does he need to do multi-factor? Let's take a look at the policy for Salesforce. So we have a global Salesforce uh, policy requesting for both a password and multi-factor authentication every time because OTP is set here to every access attempt. But if the user is logging in from the office and we have a special scenario for that, um, he can log in seamlessly with single sign-on because password is not requested and OTP is set to once per session. So this is just an example but we can also look at other things. Let's click on edit. So we can also uh, look for, for other things such as um, operating system. Um, like for example, we can only allow Windows or Mac OS, for example. Or we can look at things like user location, which is based on countries so for example we can only log in from Belgium or we can not log in from these countries um, or we can also look at the user device so we can for example say that if a device 
has been logged in before, we don't ask for a multi-factor authentication. But if it's a new device, we do. Okay. Another thing we can look at is the country change, for example. So if you log in all of a sudden from China and you used to log in from, from Europe before, well then we ask for an additional multi-factor authentication. Now from the user's perspective, how does this uh, look like? Now the user has um, a specific user portal he can use to log into. So let's open uh, the user portal, which looks like this. We will log in as John. And we have the ability to send a push to our mobile app for multi-factor authentication. So you see here I'm receiving a push notification. Let's open it and I'll approve it. There's face ID happening in the background. And once this is approved, you'll see that I'm forwarded to the uh, SafeNet Trusted Access user portal. I now have all my apps which have been assigned to you, uh, to, to me, so I can add them to my favorite application. And let's log into one of them. So AWS was configured for single sign-on. So you see I'm seamlessly logging in to AWS because I was already logged in to the user portal. The policy for uh, Salesforce, however, is asking for an additional authentication with both password and uh, multi-factor. That's how we set it up and we're not coming from the office. So um, well, we click on Salesforce. We are asked for our Active Directory password and an additional multi-factor authentication. So let's approve it. And we are logged in to Salesforce. And this ends our demo. Thank you.